Hello everybody, I'm glad you're here right now. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what's on my heart and mind today. Today is October 13th, 2023. We are supposed to be at the highest alert for attacks from uh, people who are very vengeful and hateful people. Uh, and so our nation is on high alert. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what I'm doing and how I'm feeling and what the Lord is leading me to share with you today. I wanted to get on here and just kind of ask you, how are you doing? <laughs> how are you coping with all of the things, all this information that's coming out, the stories that the victims are telling, that the people are seeing, the hor horrific atrocities that have been committed how are you doing with that? And I invite you to comment below in the comment section. Let's share with one another. What are you reaching out for? What is encouraging you? What is bothering you? And how can we help you? So those are the things I kind of wanted to get on here and say. Uh, we are on high alert. And so that's causing me to do things. All right. I, yesterday I spent, after I got done with the video and posted it, I spent the rest of the day topping off my preps and doing some very, very big things that I've been putting off that really didn't take a lot of time. I just didn't really want to do it. So I actually got it done yesterday just in case, just in case something happened today where I would not be able to get those things done. Those that So I just really hauled butt yesterday and got those things done. Today, I was reminded by the Lord when I was in worship that this battle that I'm feeling, this fight that I'm experiencing inside of myself is, remember, child, it's like God was like, remember, Gina, your fight, your battle is not with flesh and blood. It is with spirit, that Satan is the enemy and that the way we approach this situation and it's going to get worse y'all I, I, I sense that are y'all sensing that a lot of you say you are it's nice to feel like you're not alone <laughs> to, to hear other people say that too but you know I, I, I the Lord said remember Ephesians 6 10 through 18 child the battle's not with flesh and blood that's not where your fight is you need to put on your armor, put on the armor of God and pray. So this is a time for prayer. And I don't mean casual prayer. Thank you for this food. Thank you. Although those are fine. Those are fine. You can pray things like that. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is this is a time for intense prayer. And if you can, learn to pray for hours at a time. You can that doesn't mean without a break. That doesn't mean without shutting your eyes. That doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be brutal. But as we grow in our walk with God, it is important to remember the more time you, well, and this goes with human relationships, the more healthy time you spend with each other, the healthier the relationship. So, that is one thing I was reminded of today by our Father. I was also reminded that the world is very, very different than it used to be even four months ago. For sure, three years ago. We all crack that code. Yeah, we understand that. But I'm talking about it has changed maybe even a week ago. And I'll tell you why I know this to be true, although I knew it to be true, but something happened this morning that I thought, wow, I've changed. So a family member is going to a doctor's appointment today in Amarella, which is like an hour and a half from us. So before they left, before they left, it was like, do you have your defense tool with you? Do you have enough 
projectiles to go in that defense tool to get the job done if you need to. Make sure you don't waste a projectile and that the target, if you need have one, is close enough you can, you don't waste a round. Those are the things we talked about. Those are the things we did. Are you armed up physically? Spiritually, yeah, you put on the armor. But this morning, before this loved one left to go to the city, on a day where we have been threatened with a holy war across our world, a worldwide holy world, war, holy war. Uh, you know, it was just like, yeah, get what you need. And by the way, before you go, remember this. When you get there, look for your exits. Make sure you find at least two. Look for a place to, for, of cover in case you have to hide. And if you have to hide, make sure you can get to your defense tools and get, get braced. Those were our conversations before this person left the house. I guarantee you, we I did not used to have those conversations with my family, with my children. And I can tell you for sure, my parents never had them with me when I was that age. So y'all, you know and I know the world has changed dramatically this week and it is continuing to change quite quickly and fast it's going to hell in a handbasket on a freaking fast train so what do we do we pray what else do we do we we do whatever we're called to do physically to prepare yesterday like i was just like busy Today, I, I, I intentionally decided I'm spending time with the people I love. And that includes y'all. I'm making this video <laughs> because that is the only thing that is eternal. Our relationships with each other. That is the only commodity here on earth that goes into the other life. That is the only thing eternal, is our relationships with each other and our relationship with Jesus Christ. So today I'm pondering that. I saw a, I saw a family in Israel who had lost family members and did not know where family members were. And here's what I noticed that they were doing physically. They were literally on the couch together holding each other in each other's arms, embraced in each other's arms. And I thought that picture is the epitome of what I'm feeling right now. I want to hold on to the people I love. I can't do it physically, mainly because we're living life. and if, but But I have done that. When we've had crises, we've stopped everything and just held on to each other. That is where I'm at right now. Where are you at? <laughs> Please, if you, if you don't know Jesus, come to him now. Now is the time. And he's the only thing that's going to get us through this. It is going to get worse. I hate to say that. I believe it's going to come to our own nation. I don't think we're going to get by on this one, y'all. So those are the things I'm doing. Mainly, I feel extremely at peace today. I encourage you to reach out to God in prayer and just visit with Him. And increase that activity of prayer. You're going to need it. We're going to need it in the future, for sure. All right. I had to come to you in this room because there are so many flies out. In We are um, 
the, the fall is coming and the temperature dropped and that always freaks the flies out I don't know why I live by a pasture where there's cows so that's why I have some, <laughs> that's why I battle the elements we have had snakes this year I stepped on a snake just the other day not a rattlesnake although we have rattlesnakes that come up into our yard sometime no this was not a rattlesnake but I stepped on it and then I'm not gonna tell you what happened after that but things are different I've never had so many snakes in my yard I've never had so many uh, it's just the nature is different the world is different and in all these things I just turn to Jesus and say even so Lord come quickly even so Lord Jesus is Jesus I love him and that's really all I have do with that as you will stay safe everybody this is Gina Lima Charlie I'm out